addition and subtraction of decimals. Good day students, welcome back to my classroom. Today, you will learn how to add and subtract decimals with or without regrouping. Let us start. Let's try this first example. 32 hundreds plus 62 hundreds. First thing you need to know is to write the decimal numbers vertically and make sure to align decimal points and digits with similar place values. Now, we are going to add or subtract the decimal numbers in the same way we add or subtract whole numbers, which is from right to left. Now let us add 2 plus 2 is 4. 3 plus 6 is 9. And then we need to align the decimal point of the sum or the difference from the decimal points above. There. And then 0 plus 0 is 0. Our answer is 94 hundredths. Let's have another example. What is the sum of 352 thousandths and 67 hundredths? When we are looking for the sum, we are going to add. Now let us align the decimal numbers. Make sure that the decimal point and the digit with similar place values are aligned. Now let's add from right to left. Since there is an empty place value, we are going to put 0. 2 plus 0 is 2. 5 plus 7 is 12. Write 2, carry 1 to the next place value. 1 plus 3 plus 6 is 10. Very good. Write 0, carry 1 to the next place value. Put the decimal point aligned from above. And then, 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. Our answer is 1 and 22 hundredths. Find the sum of 68 and 7 and 67 hundredths. Again, when we are looking for the sum, we are going to add. You might be wondering where is the decimal point of a whole number. The decimal point of whole numbers are found at the end of the whole number. Now let us align them vertically. Make sure that we align the decimal points. Let us put zeros to the empty place values. There. Now let us add. 0 plus 7 is 7. 0 plus 6 is 6. Write decimal point aligned from the decimal points above. 8 plus 7 is 15. Write 5, carry 1 to the next place value. 1 plus 6 is 7. Our answer is 75 and 67 hundredths. Great job! Now let us try subtraction. First is, we need to align them vertically. Again, make sure the decimal points and digits with similar place values are aligned. Now let us subtract. 7 minus 5 is 2. 9 minus 4 is 
5. Let us put the decimal point aligned from the decimal points above. And then 0 minus 0 is 0. Our answer is 52 hundredths. Let's have another one. What is the difference of 532 thousandths and 29 hundredths? If we are looking for the difference, we need to subtract. First, let's align them vertically. Make sure again the decimal points are aligned. Let us subtract from right to left. Since there is an empty place value, let's put 0. 2 minus 0 is 2. 3 minus 9 is? Can it be? We need to borrow from the next place value, which is 5. Let us borrow 1 from 5. 5 will be 4. And 3 will be 13. 13 minus 9 is 4. Next, 4 minus 2 is 2. Write the decimal point aligned from the decimal points above. And then 0 minus 0 is 0. Our answer is 242 thousandths. Let's have another example. Subtract 1 and 227 thousandths from 4 and 75 hundredths. Make sure that we align the decimal points and the same place values. Let us put 0 to the empty place value. 0 minus 7 is... Can it be? Let us borrow 1 from 5. 5 will become 4. And 0 will become 10. 10 minus 7 is... 3. 4 minus 2 is... 2. 7 minus 2 is 5. Let's put the decimal point aligned from above. And then 4 minus 1 is 3. Our answer is 3 and 523 thousandths. Great job! Here are the things that you learned today.